Hi everybody, um, today I would like to discuss the Mulberry Willow. Um, this is the medium size of the tote and as you can see it is ostrich leather and calf. It's extremely soft and um, it was one of the first things I actually noticed when I opened the box. The sides just feel so luxurious, it's very nice. Um, so you can use it as a top handle or you can also use it crossbody. Um, it comes with a leather strap as you can see here um, it's got all the beautiful gold hardware I'm not sure if you can make that out with the mulberry emblem there um, and the attachments as well this bag retailed at £2,450 when it first came out um, you can get it significantly cheaper pre-loved I think it's now discontinued and um, this is one of the older models and um, it's meant to be in midnight so it's meant to be a very dark navy but by all means I would say that this is a black bag and I use it as such and um, to me it, there's there's just no real sign of it being navy um, so on the front you also have this detachable clutch bag um, which comes off using these zips um, which adds an extra function to it and um, certainly when I'm using it I also use it to store documents in if I'm trying to keep secure documents separate from other bits and pieces um, and inside it has a, a suede, suede lining there we go with a little postman's lock and um, also has the fob um, which is in the ostrich um, as well I don't know if you can see that very well and on the inside you have one large zip pocket as you can see here um, and you've got two small pockets as well as your um, mulberry tag here um, this is a fantastic day bag I actually have used this much more than I thought I would um, when I first received it I think I was worried about damaging the leather because it is just so soft um, but it's been incredibly resilient um, I've used this on and off for, for quite a number of months now and it fits a great amount of stuff it fits in water bottles, purse and um, all the essentials and um, passport documents um, and it's also got this lovely strong clip fasten here, magnetic clip fasten um, so the bag feels secure but it's also easier to get in and out of um, I also have the base water with the top flap and that can be a bit more difficult getting in and out of just for practicality wise it's not a particularly heavy bag, it's well made, um, it's it's incredibly sturdy as I was saying. It doesn't unfortunately have any feet on the bottom, as you can see here. Um, I think the large size does have metal um, feet to protect the base. Um, I mean I'd never be putting these things on the floor anyway. Um, but I hadn't seen many reviews on this bag, I um, so I thought I'd make a, a short film about it. Um, I feel like it's an underrated bag. It comes in a variety of colours and textures. I think you can get it in fake croc. Um, it also comes in just calf leather all over. I preferred the exotic leathers because I felt like it just added a little edge to it. Um, and I also worried that maybe it was a bit too bling for me. I, I generally quite like a, a plain bag. Um, but I've had so many compliments when I use this purse. I do prefer it as a top handle, I have to say. Um, but I'll often just keep the strap on and it means that when I'm in a shop or something I can just quickly sling it on my shoulder so I'm hands free. Um, I think on the second hand market this isn't like an absolute bargain. Um, I would probably not spend £2,000 on this bag personally, um, but each to their own. Um, obviously somebody did. I got this one pre-loved for significantly less than that. Um, but it's aged incredibly well. I mean the corners, um, there's no real signs of, of wear and tear and it's certainly been out and about with me quite a lot um, and I think this bag will probably last a long a long long time um, for future outings um, anyway I hope this has been useful for you I can also show you actually on if you would prefer so I'm a size 12 I'm also quite tall so I'm about 5 foot 7 5 foot 8 um, and it kind of comes to the hip um, and certainly I just think it's a, a right classy bag I, I love this bag as I say much more than I 
potentially intended to. Oh, it's maybe looking a little bit more navy now. Um, yeah, I hope you found this review helpful. Um, I just wanted a basic review because I struggled to find information before I purchased this bag. Um, but I think if you're considering it, it will become a staple in your wardrobe, especially in these colours. Um, if you wanted to go flashy, I've seen some of them in like hot pink. Um, there's certainly some in apricot as well. I think they could be look, look really nice, especially spring-summer. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.